Hey everybody, hello! What's going on? How are you doing? I don't know why I always feel like I have to stretch my mouth really wide at the beginning of these videos. I have no idea. I guess it's because I've been silent for so long before I hit record. Just me and my thoughts. And then I hit record and I'm suddenly talking for the first time and sometimes all day. Sometimes it's the first time I talk all day long, so that might be why. But how was your Friday? What did you do? I went to work. I came home. I woke up. I went to work. I came home making a video. <laughs> Yay! That's my life. But, um... I'm still trying to figure out this haircut. I didn't have time to do anything with it this morning, of course. I mean, I washed it, but um, then I just quickly brushed it out. I didn't have time to flip it up or blow it or flip it back or do all the things that hairstylists do when you're at the salon. And why do I feel like this is strobing? My fill light is kind of like, does it look like the light is going wah, 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 wah? I might just be tired. Okay, so I'm sorry about, you know, the hair. I don't know what it's to, I don't know what to do with it. What I thought I would do is, this isn't going to be very long. I just have some small Timu odds and ends in little bags that aren't very big. They're not big enough to do like a full on haul video. And I also wanted to show you guys, so here's, look at this. So I got an autographed picture of Grumpy Grandpa. Now, if you don't watch Nona's here, her channel is awesome. I'll link to it again below, but she and Grumpy Grandpa do Timu hauls and all kinds of goofy stuff together. And she sent me, or he sent me an autographed picture to to my number one fan from Grumpy Grandpa. And um, let me get it out of the glare. There it is right there, cheese. And um, I left this down on my kitchen table, uh, which was the biggest mistake I've made in like a month because my mom saw it. And she's like, "What? It, what is happening here? What is this? What's going on? And she was genuinely concerned that I was messing around with men, strange men on the internet. She's like, you're not messing around with strange men on the internet again, are you? Yes, yeah, she said again. I've been there and done that. No, it did not have a fairy tale ending. Meeting men on the internet. Don't do that. That's it. Ne uh -uh. Just don't. It's It never works out. Okay, what do I have? So thank you to Nona at Nona's Here for, you know, hooking me up with this autographed picture of Grumpy Grandpa. I'm going to get it framed. I'm going to get a frame for it. I'll hang it up back here on my wall. <laughs> totally hanging it up back there. If I can, you know, if I can find the right um, double-sided tape or whatever to get it. I'm, I'm going to put it in a nice frame from Dollar Tree. And, yeah, put it back there somewhere. Okay, so we got all kinds of little things from Timu. So let me get this thing out of the way first. I accidentally ordered. And the reason why you're just seeing this shoe box is because it came wrapped in just black packing paper and I was and I got it and I thought what is this and um took the black paper off and it turned out to be these shoes that I ordered from Timu not only once but twice on accident because because I'm the queen of accidentally ordering things twice so and I swear I think so these are these little funky um you guys know I'm looking for some shoes. Have I already shown these to you? I'm so confused. Maybe I've shown these to you already. You guys know that I'm looking for some sporty flats that are good for street walking, but also look cute. And these are kind of different. They're blue. I thought they would look cute with jeans. And they're kind of distressed back here. And... Then, oddly enough, they've got 
newspaper print up here and here. So they're just all kinds of different. You guys, they got some kind of, oh, there's some more right there. And then they've got little faux buttons and who knows? I mean, maybe, yeah, I don't know. I'm only, I'm not taking, I don't know why I always end up screeching. I'm not taking, what I've learned in my life is that nothing will weigh a suitcase down more than shoes. I always try to take just one pair of walking shoes, one pair of dressy shoes, make sure they both go with everything, the end. Now, in this case, I want to bring one pair of walking around Japan shoes and make sure I break them in first. And then I'll probably throw in my little black glossy flats and a pair of black leggings in case we are going out to dinner one night or something. I don't know. I haven't really looked at the itinerary because I... I'm, not, I'm so not into itineraries. They kind of depress me a little bit. Yeah, I'm wearing this today. I'm wearing, I hauled it the other day. I got it off of Timu. I've already snagged it on something. It's a white waffle knit, whatever you call it, hoodie with lace sleeves and a the hood is not lace, it, but it also has a lace, my lap, a lace kangaroo pouch, which is kind of dumb, but whatever. And um, so there's my bear. <laughs> I just happened to see it in the camera, in the monitor. Look at Percy back there judging. Anyway, um, yeah, I wore this today, and what I learned is that it's for, like, because it was kind of, to me, it was a little bit cold. It was about high 50s, low 60s, and, you know, with this lace, it feels like I just had a sleeveless shirt on. I was freezing all day. I'm still kind of freezing, and then I wore, oh my gosh, so I put the Golden Girls earrings on this morning that I hauled the other day, and the, one of them broke immediately. I ordered them again, and I'm wearing this Mark Bajerski crystal with Moldavite that he made, another piece that he made, and it's on a purple thread. I need to get a good chain for it, but I don't know when that's going to happen. Okay, what should we open first? So we looked at those shoes. Okay, what did I pay for those shoes times two? Because now I've got two pairs, and... I guess I could return one pair. I could get off my lazy rear end and return a pair. Or I could just donate the other pair to um, the Veterans Association. Which is whom we donate to. Which is to whom we donate. Okay, I'm looking for them. Here they are. They, what? They're $29.98, but I got a price adjustment on those shoes. And now they're $27.99. Those are expensive. Those are like, let's just go down to DSW Shoe Warehouse and pick out some shoe. You know, Timu is really kind of, what they did was they got us all hooked on the app, right? Then they raised their prices to like almost normal prices and we're so hooked on shopping on this app that we don't even either care or notice or whatever. But really, I mean, that's $30 shoes. That's really not that expensive if you really are looking for some good quality shoes. Now, are those good quality shoes? I have no idea. And another thing that today... This got delivered by Amazon, and I even got a message that said your Timu package is being delivered today by Amazon.com. And I thought, oh no, please don't let Amazon start delivering my Timu packages because you, some of you guys know there's this one Amazon driver who brings me. Yesterday, I walked a bunch of packages all the way down the street to my neighbor's house. And then my packages end up all the way down the street at some other neighbor's house. I 
I'm saying this not to mock or anything, but I really think that this one Amazon driver either um, can't read very well or perhaps could be dyslexic. And because it's just ridiculous how all of our package, or they're just doing it for fun because they hate their jobs, or we're all the Sims and someone's playing the Sims game, making us walk down the street to get our little packages. I don't know. We could be living in a simulation. Okay, the next thing, so it came in this little green bag and it is just a simple pair of gold hoopy things hoopy things. I would have worn those today. Oh, so my Golden Girls earring broke at work and I happen to have this pair in my purse. They're just different rows of pearls and sparkly things. They're a little too dressy for this hoodie, but simple gold hoops would have looked okay with it. But these came, and I've noticed Timu now has um, stuff shipping directly from the sellers now. Which, not everything, but some things like Chonker ships directly. These ship directly from the seller and did not go through Timu. So that's kind of interesting as well. Now those little hoops are, I paid $5.49 for those. Wow, I paid $5.49 for those. And they are sold out, but here they are down here for... 126. I'm about to punch somebody hard in the face. All right, here they are down here for 126. And here they are in silver for 149. And then here's the one that Sucker Me bought for five dollars and something. I can't stop looking at it. Here they are again for 148. Okay, stop. Just just Okay, just fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Next in here, we have a little, it just feels like a box. And the girl um, that I share an office with, the young woman. I share an office with a young woman and a young man. They both recently turned 30. Old enough to be their moms. Um, her family adopted a little dog today from the animal shelter. And the little dog's name was Clover. And she said, this is my new dog, Clover. And I was like, oh, that's such a good name. Oh, it's making me cry again. Okay, what is this? This is a smart posture wizard. All right. You hang it around your neck. It hangs down your back. Does it beep or electroc electrocute you if your posture is bad? I don't know. Your personal posture artifact. Okay, let's check it out. Smart Posture Wizard. We've been working hard to find small, novel products that can automatically sense reminders and help people develop self-correcting ha- wait, what? And help people develop self-correcting habits. We believe the Smart Posture Correcting Elf products can bring you a new health experience. Okay. Well, I love e.l.f. products and I am really curious to see if it shocks me if my posture is bad. I'm not going to be amused by that. Although that's probably like the one thing that would work. Ah, that hurts. Okay, be careful with these scissors for Pete's sake. I'm just trying to get the plastic off because, of course, it's wrapped in plastic. Um, anyway, so she got a little dog named Clover today and really cute, the pictures of it. It's like half hound dog and half something, something, some kind of terrier or something. I don't know. It's really cute. 
And that was a cute little hole. And today is my late dad's birthday. So my mom's hanging in there, not doing so well. And you know, it is a sad day today. But I'm kind of like, what what are we supposed to do, you know? Because my mom's like, I don't think any of you kids care that it's your father's birthday today. And I said, I've been thinking about him all day. Um, You know, but I'm not going to, I can't cry all day. I have to work. And... It's his birthday, and he would have wanted us to be happy. I'm st and he would have wanted me to get this box open. Okay, actually, he would lose his ever living, his ever loving mind. How about that? If he could see my room right now. Okay, there's this. Okay, there's a neck thing. There's a charger, and thankfully, there's a manual. And why do I have to do it myself? Why can't this already go in here? Is it even charged? Let me see. I feel like that thing is strobe lighting. No, it's not charged. Or I... Oh, I thought something was broken. Unfortunately, it did not come with the charge. Unless it has to be in this little pouch to charge, which I don't think so. Gosh, you guys, this time tomorrow I'll have eyelashes. I'm excited because I don't have, I have little tiny, barely there eyelashes. I don't even know if she's going to be able to do anything with them. Wait, I did it. I got it in there. Stop it. I don't know if they can even have extensions put on them. They're so short. But we'll see. I don't know, you guys, what I'm doing. I don't know. Okay, what it looks like is this thing goes through here. Like, why am I spending all this time doing this? And I don't even know if this thing works. Okay, and then you put this thing around your neck. And you hang it down your back. And then what do you do? Do you push this button now? Well. I'm long pressing it. Okay, no, that didn't do anything. Okay, let's see. It says, start the device after wearing it first. Straighten your back, raise your head and chest. And now my... Okay, everything's raised. Well, not as much as I wish, but everything's raised. Operate the device, press and hold the button to turn on the device. Maintain correct posture. When the device is turned on, be sure to maintain the correct posture with until the vibration ends. And the device will record the current correct posture. Then it angle, it monitors your angle. When your hunchback exceeds 25 degrees, the instrument will automatically sense and, and vibrate to remind you of your bad posture. Then it reminds you to raise your head and chest and straighten your back through angle monitoring and vibration reminders. Wow, that could really work. I just need to charge it. Too bad it's not working right now. That's pretty cool. I'm excited about that. Okay. Why does it have to go up? Oh, it's heavy too. Okay, it just needs to be charged. And I just, they usually come with a charge. Oh, well, it's best anyway that it's not charged because I need it to record my correct posture. And it's really hard to do that here while I'm sitting here and in my high-tech studio. Okay, how much did I pay for that thing? That thing was worth it. I'm going to send that to all my friends. I'm afraid if I send that to all my friends, they'll be like, what are you saying about my posture? Okay, I do know they had to send it in its own package so 
I'm just looking at the orders that were split into packages, which is all of them. Is that it? Hunchback corrector is what it's called. Okay, that's nice. Um, okay, there it is. It's discontinued. Here's another one. Intel here's another intelligent posture corrector from just look for intelligent posture corrector. And this one is $16.49. And it comes in orange. And it looks just like the one. In fact, it looks better than the one I bought. What did I pay just out of curiosity for that one? I paid $4.94. Okay. It was in that same order with that sticker that goes, that wasn't very cash money. Okay. Put this in its little case. Put the charger in there. Get ready to charge it. Work on my posture. What are you doing tonight? Working on my posture. Oh, see, I'm already scrunching back down into a C. Into a C. I don't want that. Okay, that was exciting, you guys. Okay, next we have a bag. I'm afraid to close that box. It was so hard to get it open. Greasy. That's all right. Just call it glowing skin. I call it oily skin. Okay, next is... um. Um, next is a bag. And if you are having an adult beverage, cheers to my dad. That's what he would have wanted. He would have wanted everyone to be out somewhere. Here comes the Luna. Someone said we want to see Luna more. She figures out if she wants to come up here or not. I can't tell her what to do. Here she comes. Luna, are you going to come see me? Luna? There she is. She's alive. All the conspiracy theories that she was gone. She's right here. It's, it's a blackout. Uh-oh. Luna, where are you going? Nobody really wants to see that, Luna. Luna, we don't have room in my lap. Are you trying to get in my lap? Here. Okay. Or, oh, she just wanted to lay down in my lap. Luna. Here's a Luna. She's a little chunky monkey. She's purring. Listen. I don't know if you can hear her purring or not. She just wanted to come lay down. Okay. All right, what were we doing? We were opening a bag. There's Luna. She's a good Luna. Sometimes she bites. Yes, yeah, sometimes she bites. Sometimes she bites. What? I can't right now. She, she wants a lot of attention right now. Now, I came home for lunch and... I laid down on my bed for a few minutes because I'm tired. And then Luna came and laid down on top of me. And then I didn't want to. And then she fell fast asleep. And I didn't want to wake her up. And I was like thinking of what it would be like if I sent my boss a text and said, I can't. I'm going to be late coming back from work. A cat is asleep on top of me. Okay, everybody take your adult beverage, and after you say cheers to my dad, which is what he would want everyone to do, you can also say more fingernails. Do it yourself. They're the cat eye ones, though. They're nifty. Okay, I don't know what order that is. I found out that my sound, compared to everyone else's sound, it sounds like I'm talking to you guys from underwater. Oh, no, there are more... There are more. Why did they put these in a plastic bag? They've never done that before. That's interesting, huh, Luna? Okay, I also have to watch my phone 
because my mom is downstairs making a pizza and when she says pizza's done which is probably there it is pizza done I'm gonna be hold on making a video down soon I'm gonna put a little heart heart Okay. All right. Sorry about that. I knew she was going to text me and say the pizza was done. I can smell it. It smells delicious. Here are some nails that have little flowers on them. And they're do-it-yourself down there at the bottom. And they are in kind of a smooshed box. And I don't know what nails I'm going to put on next. But I am going to do it soon because I'm tired of these bunnies. I like the French manicure, though. I should just grow my nails out and get French manicures for Pete's sake. For Pete's sake. It's fun, though. It's fun changing nails. Half the time I don't have the energy to, but, you know, when I do, it's fun. I got to consolidate my trash. I wish my powder was within reach. I would, or my, um you know, Candy Bella shine stuff. Okay, the next thing in here is quite remarkable, and I'm not going to take it out of the bag. Well, I'll take it out of the bag. It's a little tiny bag, but it's not, though. It looks tiny, but I can stretch this way, way out, and it expands to become a big bag. And I wanted to take that with me when I travel, in case we go to a shopping center or something and I need a ba an extra bag, a shopping center, you know, in case I shop, which of course I'm going to shop. Okay, so let me find the orders these were all in, right, Luna? Aw, she's a sweet girl, even though she likes to bite people all the time. Okay, the nails were, okay, here they are, here they are, here they are, everything is right here. Okay, see all items. Okay, good. Those nails were a dollar seven. I paid a dollar seventy nine for those flower nails, and they're now one sixty nine. And for the purple crystal cat eyes, I paid one ninety eight, and they're now one sixty. I did get price adjustments on those. And then for this expandable, eco friendly, and durable magic sack magic sack. I paid $3.11. It's a magic stretch bag and it's now $2.68 and here's so it can get to be quit it. That doesn't help does it? Yeah it can get to be that big. It stretches out to be that big. That's amazing got this thing pointed down and it's like a weird yellow color. It's time for me to retire this light and use my new one. Okay, so that's really neat. Okay, the next thing in here, why does it feel like, okay, I don't know, you guys, it felt like, frankly, it felt like my bra popped open. Okay, the next thing here is another set of nails. So if you're doing shots, you know, go right ahead or hydrate, please. These are going to look, they're metallic pink. Do it yourself. Nails, right, Luna? Oh, the Luna. Okay, she acts all sweet, but then any minute she bites. But maybe this time she actually won't. Okay, do it yourself. Glossy, short, square, fake. Two forty-eight is what I paid for those, and they're now two thirty-six. And I that might not be the right pair of nails. I don't know. They don't look like the picture. Okay, next. Would it help? Can I still put my glasses up like this? I got a roll of post-it notes. 
which I thought looked fun. It's getting dark. Are you okay, Luna? Okay, come on. All right, well, then I have to open this. Okay, I can do that. Looks like somebody already opened it. Okay, get this out. All right, it's like, it's like packing tape, except you unroll this. Wait. Which way do you pull it? Then you pull it this way, I guess. And you put it through here and you just, or maybe you have it upside down and you go right on it. Cool. And you make that sound too when you do it. You go, wow, that's neat. Wait. Okay. Cool. I don't know. I don't know why. I thought that would be great to have on my desk write my little post-it notes on that, rip them off. Was it less than a dollar? Because at one point I was trying to do things that were less than, a, okay, it was, a, I paid a dollar 45 for that and it is now 134. Oh no, the green color is 149. Pink is 134. No, pink is 171. The color, there's a lot of colors and they change in price. And I don't feel like going through all the colors. Do you, Luna? And reading the prices? Okay, are you leaving me cold and alone? What? No, you can't eat plastic. Don't leave me, Luna. Luna, go down and get me some pizza. Okay, I got a set of pens. And they are... I have no idea. They are a set of, I mean, I know they're pens, but I don't know. Luna, where do you think my scissors are? Are you lying on them? Here they are. Yeah, that would have been uncomfortable. Would have been uncomfortable. Luna with her poor little runny eye. She is, um, what is she? HPV positive feline HPV. So sometimes her eye runs. She's pouring. All right. Somebody just said, we don't ever see enough of Luna. And I said, well, I can't tell her what to do. She's a cat. Now, you know, you can't tell cats what to do. Okay, somebody mad at me? I'm scared of her. Okay, I'm afraid she's going to get mad at me because I'm not down there with the pizza. It's not homemade. I mean, it's just a pizza you stick in the oven. It is... They are pens with, like, an Asian design on them or something. Yeah, there's a little cat, an Asian cat, and then these have koi... fish they're pretty okay they're pretty I don't know I guess I was just you know in the mood for some more pens I paid um 153 for them and they are still 153 yeah classical Chinese style koi gel pen okay What else is in here, Luna? I'm trying to see if there's anything else from this order. Because the... Oh, no. Are these more shoes? No. I got a little tiny Louis Vuitton dupe bag. Why? Because whenever I see them, I can't resist getting them. Oh, cute. It's even got the tassels. It's a, this is going to be my new purse charm to put on my purse. So it just looks like this. And I mean, yeah, you could use it as a, I wouldn't, but I mean, you could use it as a coin purse, I guess. It does come all the way unsnapped. So 
You can put all kinds of things in here. I mean, it's got a snap. This is a snap. And then this is a snap. So, no, it's not. I Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Why do I always think I know what I'm talking about when I don't? Okay, there's your little Louis Vuitton purse and wannabe. I miss those good old days of doing videos about replica purses. Those were the good old days. The knockoff purses before YouTube cracked down on them. Okay, what did I pay for those? I paid... Um, Well, it could be in this order, but I'm blind. It Look at this one thing. I can't get down. Get down on it. Get down on it. Okay. Louis Vuitton. I paid $2.89 for that, and it was discontinued. Well, of course it was. I'm sorry. That was discontinued, and I paid $2.89 for it. And I bet this next thing is a pair of little earrings. Oh, hi, Luna. That are not in this order, so forget those for a minute. This is not in that order. I don't know. Forget it. Forget it. Just forget it. I, I was trying to get everything that was in this order out of this bag, but I am missing a lot. Oh, that's the package that got delivered today. Okay. I don't know. Okay, the next thing that's in here, though, is this cheesy double C pendant necklace that's supposed to look like the Chanel C's. What time is it? I thought this was going to be a really... I thought this was going to be like a 15-minute video. So it's too... Uh-oh, somebody's going to want to get that. uh it's two C's with a gem in the middle. And yeah, it's you know, it's real Chanel. And I paid $149 for it. And it was discontinued. Oh, we're striking out left and right. This is a 10-pack of elegant embroidered knee socks. No, they're not. 10-pack for $6.74. I bought. Now, these are fall colors. What was I thinking? I don't know. I was just thinking I love socks is what I was thinking. But they're socks with happy... They, they're kind of funny. Like, they're weird socks. So, they're like this. They're ankle length, but they come up in the back which is kind of cool and they got little smiley faces on the backs of them but they were I paid 674 for them and they are now oh, 666 dun 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 the devil socks don't buy them now wait till they change in price um I picked the wrong color I mean they're supposed to be okay well there's some black and there's some Black, white, blue. They'll be fine. They'll be all right. Right, Luna? There's somebody's ear right there. It's a Luna. Oh, she can't. You're not even on camera. Here. Well, there's her head. She is alive. I have to kind of scoot this over a little bit because I feel like something's blocking my microphone. I don't even know where the microphones are in this thing to talk into like where it's picking up my sound but it does sound like my videos are underwater and I really need a better sound setup okay let's get out of here and are you gonna leave me cold and alone the next thing in here is like something really weird 
and it is, uh, I gotta find the order for it, but it's a jade eye mask. And it says naturally cooling, but I just thought it looked cool. No, Luna. Oh, she's trying to play with that purse charm. Luna, I need my scissors and you're on them. That can't be very comfortable for you. She has a mad look on her face now. Like, don't tell me what to do. Shoot, she really is on my scissors. And now when I reach under there, she's going to bite. She's going to bite. Luna, I need these. See these things? I know. I need them. You're on them. You're on them. Oh. Okay. What have you got? All right. So they look like this. So it looks like. Wait, be careful cutting it. Shoot. With my luck, I'd cut one string and it would all fall apart. And it looks like this. Wait a minute. What's happening here? And then you just lay back. Wait. And put it over your eyes. Cheese. It is very cold. Ah, it's really, it's naturally cold. So there, it's a gemstone eye mask and I've seen them on Timu and I've seen jade ones for like, I'm not joking for something like $53 on Timu and this one Natural Jade Stone Eye Mask. I paid $7.21 for it, and it's still $7.21. And you can choose between Bloodstone, which is a red one, or Medicine King Stone. Here's the Bloodstone one, or the one I have, which is called Medi Medicine King Stone. And it just says main material is Natural Stone. So I have no idea, but it does feel really cool and refreshing and you don't have to even put it in the refrigerator or anything. So that's kind of one of my favorite things. That and my knockoff Chanel necklace. Joking, kinda. Okay, so we got that. Now the next thing, I don't know what I was, I don't know. I don't really have an excuse for this, but I can look at it and see that it's going to feel shine. It's going to, okay, it feels a little swimming suity. It's a swimming suit. It's not a swimming suit. It's a clown shirt. Why? I have no idea. Oh, I know why. Because I thought these were real sequins and I thought that was cool. And I'm like, yeah, man, I want a sequin clown. But no, it's just a picture of sequins. It's kind of the ugliest thing I think I've ever bought on Timu. I should. I really should be keeping track of these ugly things. So I can do a video that says 10 ugly things I bought on Timu. Shoot. Okay, well, that'll be number one. And that was $6.29. And it's now $6.98. Here's the model living her best life. Of course, she could look like that in it and just be like, yeah, I'm wearing a clown shirt. Shut up. Like, where am I going to wear that if I want anybody to take me seriously? Well, you should never take me seriously. But really, do you like my clown shirt? All right, and then if we thought it was over, it's not. We also have, I don't know why I bought another one. And then Timu just started showing me clown shirts everywhere. Let me fix this. In my feed. And I just 
for, you know how, I think they kind of brainwash you and you just start thinking, yeah, I want more clown shirts. So here's another one. It feels semi-soft. Oh my gosh, that's horrifying. I'm going to wear this around my brother and look at the back. Wow, I'm impressed. I'm impressed that the design goes all the way around. In fact, did the stripe one do that? So this is the most, I might wear this tomorrow when I get my eyelash extensions and the woman will be like, mm -hmm. and I'll be like, I don't now look, I don't, don't make me look like a clown when she starts putting them on. I don't want it to look like I have big, crazy, crazy fake lashes. I can't pull that off. Okay, that clown shirt, that clown shirt, as opposed to the other clown shirt was $6.99. Let's tone it down. And it's still $6.99. And no, of course it's not sold out. Does this one have a design on the back? Well, it does. It has stripes and dots on the back. Wow. All right, well, I'll wear them on video. I'll wear them on the weekends here on camera. Okay, then the last couple of things we have. These that I thought were really cute, delicate hoop earrings with green glass beads. I thought they were really pretty and they are 89 cents right now. I don't think I, think I paid more than that. No, I paid 89 cents and they look like this. They look like this. <laughs> Why? Why do they even bother putting the card in there? Just, just so you know, it's fashion jewelry. Okay, they look like they, they look like they're gonna be tricky, and no, I'm not trying them on now. So they're pretty. Here, get this down. Get this hair out of the way. They would hang down like this. That's pretty, but the thing that looks tricky to me is the thingamabop. You know what do you call that thing? <laughs> The thing you put in your ear, the part that you put in your ear, the hook, the, the, the fastener, the, why, why can't I think of words all of a sudden? The something, well, that part looks tricky to me. I'll think of it in the middle of the night. All right, 89 cents, whatever. So if they don't work out, it's just 89 cents. And then the last thing in here, is a little Hello Kitty bag. I have a, um, I can't think of its name. Come on, a Pusheen. Is that it, how you say it? I have one of those bags and I wanted a little Hello Kitty cosmetics bag. No shame in my Hello Kitty game. We can like Hello Kitty, right? Oh, look at the little tiny Luna. I wish you could see the little Luna fast asleep in this pile of trash. Luna, get up all, off this stuff. Gotta clean this all up right now. Okay, so here's the little Hello Kitty bag. There's not much to it. You just open it up and oh, look at the inside. How cute is that? And it's got a slip pocket and it's got another. No, this isn't a pocket. Unless it zips or something. No, well, wow. That is cute. And you can totally put stuff in this pocket right here. Like I've never been more surprised by a pocket in my life. All right. Did we cheese? Did we cheese for anything here? Cheese block this thing for once so I could have a thumbnail going in another direction. Cheese. I don't know. I didn't like it. Okay, for that I paid $19. I'm just kidding. I didn't pay $19. I hope I paid 
I can't see that. I paid $3.98 for that. And it is now th still $3.98. And it's cute. I love it. So, yeah, I love the posture thing. I love the jade eye mask thing. I love the fake Chanel necklace. I think that's funny. Hopefully somebody out there will think it's real just for kicks. Although I could have bought my own Chanel necklace with all the money I've spent. Why does Timu keep showing me personal massage personal massagers? Now I have never clicked on anything at all. I have not. That has to do with personal massage. So I don't know why Timu is showing me some things. Well, I did click on one thing because I didn't know what it was. It wasn't a personal massager, but it was equally gross. And um, so, yeah, maybe that's why. Okay, you guys, I think that that is it in my little bag. Oops, I have a bag tomorrow. Bag. Why did I do that with my mouth? I have a bag to coming. No, I have a bag that came today that I'm going to open tomorrow after I get my lashes done. And then I won't have an order coming for a while. Oh no, I have a few things to review. And so there's that. I don't know, we'll keep our fingers crossed. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hitting the thumbs up or the thumbs down button, please and thank you. It really helps YouTube know that real people watch my videos. I think I had, got, had one of these videos that got 11,000 views and only like 1,000 likes or something. And I'm not saying, oh, no, people didn't like it. But I am saying, oh, no, YouTube's going to flag that one because that's a crazy disproportionate 11,000 views to like one point something thousand likes is like a big difference and YouTube is gonna think I bought those views I didn't buy those views so anyway thank you for hitting one of the like buttons it really helps me a lot and I love and appreciate you guys so much thank you so much for watching and for being so nice in the comments down below and I am going to go down now and eat pizza and I hope you have a nice night or morning or afternoon whenever you're watching this. I hope it's going all good and there's a kiss. Good night and a thank you in Lo um, Loma. I almost called her Loma. Luna says good night. She's fast asleep down here and now we say how do I stop this thing?